From your right to your left, that is Nick, John, Michael, and Ben together, truck stop, darling. So as an MC, I feel I'm responsible for really uh, being the host of the stage. So I treat the entry to the stage as if it were the front door of my house. And when people arrive, whether it's a performer or a guest at the, at the festival, to really make sure they feel welcome here. I also try and provide uh, a little bit of hospitality for the folks that are working real hard. So the stage managers and the sound guys who are, who are there for much longer shifts. I try to make sure they feel welcome too. As an MC, I'm responsible for introducing the acts and also saying who has just played, as well as talking about the sponsors of the Northwest Folklife Festival. We are giving thanks to KCTF Channel 9, which is a PBS station, which is one of our sponsors, as is the Seattle um, PI. To be a good MC, you need to be comfortable being on stage and being seen. You need to be comfortable sort of with flowing with what's ever happening. This is actually only his first year at Folklife. Is that cool? And we've been running 41 years. So if you've never emceed at Folklife before, there is a lovely three ring binder that walks you through step by step, act by act, what to say, what not to say. And in it, uh, tells you who your sponsors are, gives you a few key messages from Folklife tells you a little bit about the group, and so I usually will pick out a few key phrases of that that I'm gonna say in the microphone. Also ask the people how to pronounce their name and how to pronounce their group name so you're not stumbling over that at the microphone. And then just practice smiling. To be a good MC, uh, you know, you just need to bring some enthusiasm to the stage. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello, audience, Andy is back. What, no hello, Andy? What I try to do is I try to memorize the material that I have in front of me. So uh, I will go in and I will talk to the next performers, get a little bit of bio information from them, try to distill it down to one or two sentences, because really it's their time that you're using there. So the less time you spend on stage introducing the act, the more time the act actually gets to perform. So I, I will go in there, I'll prep, I'll memorize the piece that I need to say. I don't want to be looking down. It's kind of hard to look professional when you're staring down at a clipboard. Folk Life is brought to you in part by BECU, where people matter. BECU has two, count them two, booths screwed around the campus today. Stop by, visit one of them, and see what the credit union difference is all about. They want to have a smooth message, deliver it uh, articulately and clearly to the audience. The hardest thing about being an MC is sometimes having film material. I prepare by having some folk music related jokes or some little stories, some stories about the history of the Folk Life Festival, just little pieces that you can fill in if needed. And you know, Hank, who was just playing, he played at the first Folk Life ever, which is pretty cool. So he's been playing here 41 years. My advice for a new MC when presented with a cold copy is practice, practice, practice. It's the only way you can do it. For new MCs, relax and have fun. This is easy, you're going to be able to do it easily. It's just getting up and getting a flow. First bit of advice is just say yes. It's, it's, uh, if you are intimidated by the experience of being in front of people, these are family, these are friends. It is a very rewarding experience to do. And so say yes is my best advice. <laughs> Volunteers make it happen. Volunteers make it happen. Volunteers make it happen.